Um, but yeah, UFC 290. Let's do the preview. Uh, as usual, we'll just do like the main card. Now we, I gotta highlight a few. There's oh, someone. There's hilarious. someone on the the early prelims. Just know that it's hot in the studio. Yeah, I know. Because I, I, I know I, you I, like to nerd out. I won't. And this even, is I your this is your place. This is your place. Don't let me. This <laughs> is not a nerd out. I just want to highlight. I just want to say on the. I think he's on the early prelims. Shout All out. I right, pull it up. Scroll down. Tony Hinchcliffe. He's he's on the early. Prelim. Hinchcliffe is on the early prelims. Where is he? This guy right here. <laughs> Oh, Tony Hinchcliffe, you're hilarious. Why? What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> All right. Shout out South Africa, yeah? Yeah. Um, okay, so I uh, do want to actually point out, first yeah. of all, banger alert right here. Sean Brady, Sean Brady versus Jack. Della uh, Maddalena. <laughs> say that again. Della Maddalena. That's an Australian name for sure. Yeah. My name is Jack Della Maddalena. <laughs> Oi. Oi, Jack Della Maddalena. Oi. So, Oi. So crikey. Quick, Oi. Quick back. This guy will stomp my fucking head into the ground. Yeah. Oi. Jack Della Madelaida. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey. You, you think you want to see me fight? You want to see a wall up? <laughs> pause. <laughs> Australian pause. Pause there, yeah. Uh, but yeah, continue. I'm sorry. So Sean Brady actually, um, he fought Bilal Muhammad, who okay. was supposed to be fighting for the title. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean supposed to be? Isn't he in line? He won? Yeah, yeah, he is. He's like up there is what I'm yeah, okay. saying, right? Yeah. He got pieced up by Bilal Muhammad, right? So my breakdown for this fight is if you get pieced up by Bilal Muhammad. And he and he took it. He got standing TKO'd. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Like the referee had to come in and stop it. Um, You're most likely going to get pieced up by Jack Dalla Madalena as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he's that, but he's like a really good striker? Yeah. <sighs> He pieced up, and he pieced up someone that's higher than him on the card. Oh, damn. He, he, he pieced up Jalen Turner. Oh, sorry. Wrong guy. Randy Brown. He pieced him up. Yeah. <laughs> Who fought last week. But So I think Della Maddalena can piece this guy up, but if it Still goes to the ground. That. The pause central, bro. Okay, beat him up. Just, <laughs> just, you know what I'm saying? Just <laughs> What did you do, Cameron and Mace? Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, but Sh yeah. Sean Brady could win via submission. But on the feet, I think Jack's got it. Okay. Yeah. Yo, how old is Robbie Lawler to be still fighting? Don't click on that, man. Oh, you, oh, to, to, I'm like, don't click on no Robbie Lawler shit. What's the age here? Uh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say the age. That's crazy. Normally it does, no? Ha, ha, ha. Regardless. Um, mm -hmm. Ha, ha, ha. Skip that. I mean, this is a good fight, but we don't want to talk about it. <laughs> This yeah, is a good one. real bangers. Like this is a banger. Yo, Dan alert. Hooker. Okay, yeah, banger versus alert. Jalen Turner. Okay, yes. this is uh, prelims or this is main card. main card. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, it's definitely main card. Um, we could talk about Bo Nickel. Like I'm gonna pick him, but yeah. Bo Nickel uh, versus Treason Gore. Treshawn. Treshawn. Wow, I'm black too. This is awful. Come on, Come on up, brother. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with me? I think I'm dyslexic because I <laughs> put it. Treason. I said treason. <laughs> treason. That's what white people want me to say, bro. Ah, oh, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Treshawn. <laughs> My bad, dog. Please don't beat me up. I'm going to need your help defending me from the other guy I was making fun of. <laughs> hey, Dana Madalena. Uh, <laughs> All right. So Jalen Turner versus Dan Hooker. Bang lightweight alert. bout. Banger alert, 100%. Damn, the odds, oh, okay. Jalen is minus 210, and Dan is plus 180. All right. Yeah. What's that? What are you predicting? I'm I'm going with Jalen Turner on this one. Uh, what round and how? Is this going standing up? Is This This going... is a stand-up fight for sure, but actually, I think, Jalen, a... no, I think Jalen gets it by submission. Damn. I think he knocks. Hooker's a striker. Yes. Yeah. So I think Jalen gets a knockdown and strangles him. What round? Dose. Round two. All right. All right. Now let's get to this fucking... All right. We're getting to the real uh, meat and potatoes pause. <laughs> Fuck, man. These guys are ruined my we shouldn't life. Have <laughs> we shouldn't have watched that clip before we started recording. You're correct. Uh, <laughs> we, started, we started watching a lot of it is what it is clips. <laughs> Yeah, this nigga did it in and out. <laughs> Yo, you boo watching, 
Boo watching. Yo, <laughs> shout out to Cam Mace, man. Because that is the best thing that happened to sports talk in, in a long time. Mm. Um, but the co main event, middleweight bout. This is not the co main. Really? Oh my God. Sorry, I saw a Spanish guy with a title and I assumed it was the main event. Yeah. That is the co main event. This is, wow, this is, might as well be a triple main event. Yeah. Robert Whitaker versus. Dr- can, can you just say nah, that? I want to see you struggle first. Hi, uh, Drysus, <laughs> J- Jesus. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me yet. <laughs> Dricus, Di- Dicus, Dricus. Pretty close. Dricus Duplices. Yeah, Dricus. Dricus. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Said Dricus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is is Dricus Duplices? Duplices. Duplices. Yeah. I'm sorry, all these people. Please don't beat me up, man. <laughs> Holy shit. It's hot in the studio, bro. It's hard. My eyes, the sweat, my eyelids. This should be a really good fight. Um, I, I, Whitaker, Whitaker's still number, ranked number two, eh? Yeah. Wow, I really sweating. Yeah. Whitaker, <laughs> my fucking brain chips just melted. Brain chips? <laughs> Your motherboard? Holy shit. <laughs> Short circuiting. Yo, I, yeah, that's also <laughs> way better than what I said. Brain chips? Temperatures I don't think in my 30 years of existence I've ever said brain chips. <laughs> Who you got what round, bro? <laughs> I got Whitaker by decision. Okay. Okay. Or by wrestling, but Whitaker's minus three sixty in this shit. Yeah, but th- here's the thing: people do underestimate Drikas. So is this your bet? Is is this the one to place on? No, 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 no. That's too close to place on for this one. Like, if anything, like, if you wanted to put money on a fight, I'll put on Robbie Lawler at two plus two fifteen. Yeah, because he's the underdog in this fight. And you think he has a good chance? Yeah, against Nico Price, yes. Because Nico Price yeah. is what Robbie Lawler used to be, right? So Robbie Lawler was like a brawler, and he would just go in, just go go ham. Yeah. Um, Robbie's calmed down. He's an older man. He's got wisdom. He takes his time. He cooks the beans, you know what I mean, before he eats. You're hilarious. <laughs> 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 Scroll um, back up, bro. <laughs> he cooks the beast before he eats. I like that, but that was fucking crazy. Um, co-main event. Wait, did you? Okay, so you said Whitaker by decision. Yeah. Okay. Co-main event, flyweight title bout. My guy Brandon Moreno. Let's go, Mexico. Fucking get this guy another goddamn uh, Funko pop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Funko stand up. <laughs> Brandon Moreno, viva Mexico. Uh, versus Alexandre. Or is it Alexander? See, now you got me fucking... He's he's Brazilian. Yeah. Alexander. D- Alexandre. Ale- Alejandre. Yeah. Pantoya. I got that right. Yeah, I know yeah, I got yeah, that yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't fuck with me on that one. <laughs> Pantoya. Alejandre Pantoya. Versus Brandon Moreno. Si. Como están? <laughs> um... <laughs> I got Moreno for this one, too. I'm always excited for yeah. Moreno fights. Let's yeah. fucking go. You think he retains... Yeah. Does it go the distance? Is the title fight? So it's five rounds. I think it goes five. Rounds. It goes five rounds. Flyweight fights typically do go five rounds. You don't usually see a stoppage, unless it's DJ. unless it's Moreno versus fucking versus uh who is that Davison. last? Yeah, Guerrero. Yeah. Uh, did he stop him? In the one of them? No. One? In the first one. One of them. Either way, yeah. On average, you don't usually see a stoppage. They usually go the distance. But you are right though. Um, you were about to say what? Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse. So you'll get a finish. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm leaning Moreno on this one. And, uh, by decision. Yeah. All right. Rounds. The main event. <sighs> Holy shit. Ooh, title versus title. not even odds on this one. Yo, title versus title, bro. <sighs> is it title versus title? Or is not it the only really. one of them up? Well, I guess it's unification. Well, because Yair is an interim yeah, champ. Yeah, it's a unification. But he only got the interim because he fought the same day that Alexander fought Islam. So they did the interim that same day. So he's like, I'm vacating the belt. But he's not, you know what I mean? And he fought Josh Emmett for the interim belt, which is, you know. Interesting. I'm not saying he's not a champion, but it was All right. like an interim. That There's a technicality really there. Yeah. There's a technicality there. Yeah. This guy because has, like, so it's a sham belt. Yeah, because Alex, he wasn't even hurt. You know what I mean? Belt. They just created 
It's this a sham is part belt. of the storyline. It's a sham belt. They give this is part of the story. It's a sham belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say it. It's a sham belt. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, I'll, I'll, like he's he's a champion because they he fought Josh Emmett and he beat him up, beat him up yeah. really bad. But it was only because they had this weird interim belt out of nowhere because Volkanovski went up to fight Islam. So, so who do you got in this fight? I got Volkanovski on. The Damn, game. it's yeah. too close. It's so close, man. You don't think so? I don't think so. All right, fair enough. Because I will say, go back and watch for all, all my UFC fans out there. Everyone, go back and watch Frankie Edgar versus Yair. That's exactly what I'm expecting to happen. All right, we'll watch that after. We'll, yeah. we'll roll a hash joint and then we'll watch that <laughs> fight after. Um, so you expect Volkanovski to win by stoppage? Uh, decision. Decision. Again. So but, it's going to go five rounds. Yeah. Like wrestling. A movement. lot of. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, yeah, you're a sick movement, but. He'll be able to get out of a lot of stuff, but you don't think he has enough power to put down Volk? He probably does, but I just think the way Volkanovski fights. Yeah. It's hard to hit him with all that spinning shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, which is right. what Yair is really good at. But then I also feel like maybe Volkanovski's wrestling will be able to control Yair on the ground. But he's, yeah. Yair's good on jujitsu, like ground, but there's a difference between like wrestling ground game and jujitsu ground game. Very fair. So, yeah. That's very fair. Um, well, I'm very excited, man. Yeah, me too. Uh, UFC 290 this Saturday, uh, after the release of this. Wednesday episode. Uh, you know, what's the what's the date that it says? J Saturday, July 8th. So this episode comes out like three days before that shit. Enjoy this. Enjoy that. What's up, beautiful people? Thank you for watching this. If you like that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button. We got new podcast episodes every Wednesday comedy clips and segment clips throughout the week follow me i'm aka black zeus on all social media dante is person one prod and uh you know stay beautiful peace peace